This video presents tips and tricks for using the tube clear system and GJ clearing stem to clear a Mickey gastrojejunal feeding tube. This is the tube clear system. It is an FDA cleared patented device to clear sluggish and clogged feeding and decompression tubes while the tube remains in the patient and operates at bedside. It is a two part system, the reusable control box and the single use clearing stem. For instructions on how to set up the control box or the GJ1422 clearing stem, please refer to your operator's manual or the helpful videos on our website at www.tubeclear.com. Today we're here to show you how to use the tube clear system with the GJ1422 clearing stem to clear Mickey gastrojejunal feeding tube. For the purpose of this video, I have already set my depth limiter as per the instructions located in the operator's manual. When operating the tube clear system, please employ clean techniques. Make sure to use a disposable under pad and ensure all surfaces are sanitized properly before beginning the process. You can place the clearing stem in the clearing stem bag that has a hole to hang on an IV pole when not in use. And be sure to keep paper towels handy throughout the process. Before I start, I'm going to start my control box and make sure that my wire tip is displacing. This is what breaks up that clog and really helps get that tube clear. So first things first is um, we want to open our coconut oil, which I already have opened. It is very important to frequently and always coat the GJ clearing stem with the coconut oil. Every time you remove it from the tube, you are going to recoat. I'm going to place it in the J port and then turn on the control box. I'm going to advance the clearing stem as far as I can until it gets kind of hard to push. Once it's there, I'm going to use short, fast, choppy motions. Be sure to secure this button with one hand and keep your fingers as close as possible to this portion so that you don't have kinking. Do not pinch or squeeze the clearing stem so that you don't have kinking. Um, these tubes have a very complex geometry and the GI system is very curvy. So this can take some time. Um, it could take up to an hour. Don't get frustrated. Take breaks as often as you need. We will work on this until um, our depth limiter reaches our port. Slowly pull the clearing stem out. This will spread whatever clog that you were working in. It'll help spread it so it'll be easier. Um, when we take that out, we're gonna do some flushing and aspirating. So it's a good idea to have your extension kit primed so that you're not just pushing air into the tube, uh, you're pushing water. So we're gonna flush and aspirate a little pumping action, only moving it a few cc's either way. After you do a little pumping, hold two to three cc's of pressure, hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. This allows it time to do whatever it's doing inside there, sometimes moving the clog forward. After you have flushed the tube, repeat the whole process two to three more times, reinserting the clearing stem until the depth limiter is reached each time. Let's review the important tips and tricks covered today. Use coconut oil liberally and recoat the stem each time you remove and reinsert. Flush and aspirate frequently. Keep your fingers close to the port and avoid other motions that might cause kinking. Use short, rapid motions and forward pressure to your advantage. Hold 10 to 15 seconds of pressure on the enteral syringe to help move the clog through the tube. In between removing and reinserting the clearing stem, always check that the wire tip is still displacing correctly and always take breaks as needed. Patience and determination are key in clearing a sluggish or clogged tube. If you have any further questions about your tube clear system, please contact Actuated Medical's Customer Service Department. 